Hello everyone, welcome back to Gone Home. Okay, so in this video I'm going to be tying up some loose ends. I'm going to be looking at some things that I missed in my original playthrough of the game. So, in case you're watching this and you have not seen my playthrough, it probably won't make any sense. Because this is just to fill in the gaps of what I missed from my playthrough. But anyway, yes, there is at least one journal entry from Sam that I missed. I think more than one. Um, there's a really funny little Easter egg, and then there's uh, another pretty small little Easter egg that I'm going to show at the end of the episode too. But to begin with, I'm just going to look at the journal entries that I missed. So the first one that I missed is this. If you close this folder, this should trigger a journal entry. I believe I missed this. Um, let me let me make sure I actually read this note. Sorry, my mom was such a bitch last night. She's hardly over since her force. Okay, okay, yeah, I've already read that. Um, but I believe this I have not. No, I have not. Inside Edition, Documentary, 60 Minutes. Investigative team visits camp whose specialist helps adolescents overcome deviant behavior and homosexuality. Uh, oh. Ooh, that's not good. Katie, you know how mom and dad are. Not exactly super open-minded about things. It feels like every minute I don't spend with Lonnie, I spend worrying about them finding out about us. And what would happen if they did? You know dad's joke about the nunnery that he'd tell whenever you brought boys around the old house? I wonder where he'd want to send me. God, it's so sad that she even had to think about that. That she even had to worry about her parents knowing who she actually was. Ah. <sighs> It's been enough time since I finished this game that I don't think I'm going to break down in tears coming back here, but... It still feels kind of sad just to be back... back here. But also kind of happy, because, you know, if how it ended... It ended on a very good note, but still kind of sad. Anyway, okay, I will be right back when I find whatever the next journal entry or thing is. Okay, I believe this is the last... The second and last major journal entry, I'll get back to why I'm saying major journal entry, that I missed. I Did I seriously not read this? This story that's just sitting on the kitchen table, I didn't read it? What the heck? Well, that was very unobservant of me. Samantha and... What the... This is weirdly written. Samantha and Daniel were in the woods one day. It was sunny and they were on... Uh, but what, what the f hell does that say? But they went to the... I, I can barely even freaking read that. Uh, let's see what she says, and I'll come back and read it with the subtitles on. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong. And I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. For some reason, I almost believed him. God, so far all of the two journal entries that I missed were just really depressing. These are really sad journal entries. Ah. Uh, uh, okay, where was it? Gameplay? No, language. Yeah. I was actually say Samantha and Daniel were in the woods one day. It was sunny and they were on a on a event a venther? I have no idea what that is. But they went to the bad part of the wood and it got dark. Daniel said, "Are you s <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely written when they were young. Are you scared? So Samantha said no. Are you? They... La uh, I don't even know what that is. Lathit? What? And went more into the bad part? Then they went to a part that was never there before, and there was a ship. A pirate ship. I wonder. And there was a ship, a pirate ship. 
this old story that they used to write together, is this what inspired her Captain, what was it, Captain Allegra stories? Um, oh, wait, oh wait, there's more, there's more. On an ocean, Samantha said, I'll be the captain and you be the first mate. Oh, it has to be, yep. This is, I guess, the beginnings of the whole Captain Allegra story. I don't know if it has a name for that saga or whatever you'd call it, but uh, yeah. Daniel said, I kept, what? I, I captain and they went on the pirate ship and started sailing away. <laughs> Aww. That's sweet. Okay, so there are two... Uh, there's a, a minor... There's a minor Easter egg, and then there's a major Easter egg, which is really funny. I'm gonna save the best for last. So right now, let's do the minor Easter egg. And it has to do with Christmas Duck. It turns out that Christmas Duck has a nest. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. Alright, Christmas Duck is out here. He's at the very first part of the game. Where are you, buddy? There you are. There you are. Christmas Duck has a home. Hey, Christmas Duck. How you doing? Only five ninety nine. Yeah. Chris, oh, get your face out of my face. Oh, God. Okay, that's better. Um, Christmas Duck has a home in the attic. Which is around here. Yep, there it is. God, I love the lighting in this game. It's so good. So, 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 so good. I believe... Yep, here it is. There you go, Christmas Duck. <laughs> good old Christmas Duck. Yep. He has a home. Okay. Now for the major one. This one's really fun. See, before I mentioned that I've... Now I've found, with those two extra journals, I have now found all of the major journals... However, there's one more journal entry, and it's written by Mittens, their cat. No, I'm not joking. And there's a secret way that you can trigger it. And, uh, let's see, I need to go to the... Um, 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 I need to go down to begin with. Alright, well, while I'm going there, let me just explain that... Um, how do... I, I don't know if there's other videos about how to find this, or videos of... Whoops, I'm going the wrong way. Or videos of discovering how to do this. Out there? You know, I'm, it, it's probably out there on YouTube at this point. It's been long enough. Um, but yeah, I just want to be clear that I did not discover this myself. Not at all. I, I don't remember their names, but I actually watched it being discovered on... Um, a live stream. It was actually on a live stream on Twitch TV. And I don't even know who found it. I think there were two people looking for the secret, and it seemed like they kind of found it at the same time. And one of the developers was helping them with hints. Anyway, I don't exactly remember who did it, or whether it was one or both of them. But either way, I just want to be clear that I did not find the secret. This is thanks to one or both of them. So, just want to be clear about that. I do not take credit for finding this. Uh, garage. There we go. Okay. Alright, we need to go to the garage, and we need to get a purple ball. No, I'm not joking. I need to get a purple ball. And I need something to throw at the ball to get it down. And I believe what the person I was watching used was an orange can of soda. Let's see if I can find one in the kitchen. There's gotta be some soda. Oh wait, it'd be, yeah, it'd be in the fridge. What the hell am I thinking? Where do you find soda? In the fridge. Oh, my cup is still there. Sweet. Well, uh, there's no orange so Maybe this will do. We'll use a bigger bottle of cola. Um, depends. How far can I throw this? Never mind. That is not going to work. I need something that can be thrown further. Maybe jam? No. Okay, well, I'll see if I can find an orange soda along the way. Kitchen. How do I get to the garage? No. How the heck? Do you go in sideways and then you go... Here? Yeah, here we go. Okay. Alright, I don't suppose there's an orange soda in here. 
There's the purple... There's the purple ball, by the way. Right there. Yep. I need to get that down. Okay, how am I going to do this? I don't really have anything to throw here. I, I need something that can be thrown very far. Can this be thrown far? Nope. See, most things won't reach. And you can't jump and you can't sprint. So you can't really do anything about that. What about this? Nope. Ooh, ooh, this'll, this'll work. Maybe not? Is there something special about the orange soda that is, makes it thrown further? Because I swear the orange soda goes way further. That is just not going to do. Alright, what about a colored mug? No. What the freaking hell? Are you kidding me? What about cards? Everything is going the same distance. Ice cream? Ah. Okay, I'll be back when I find something. Okay, so I ransacked the kitchen, as you can see, throwing everything, everything that I could. All around, I made a right mess of the place. But one thing I discovered is that I can't seem to throw anything as far as I saw the person throw it in the live stream. Not even the orange soda. I tried throwing orange soda. It didn't go any further than any of the other sodas. In fact, I can't seem to get anything to go particularly far at all. I mean, even if it's something super light. Like, look. Look at this deck of cards. Right? And then this. Uh, look, this is a highlighter. This is so light. It doesn't really go any further. It goes like the same amount. And this is ice cream. Should be very heavy. They all seem to go about the same amount. Even though I'm guessing this cassette, right? Yeah. Everything is just not going far enough. So what I'm thinking is this. Maybe this is one of those weird engines where your frames per second actually affects how far you can throw stuff. Like this orange soda. This is the orange soda that I saw used to get it. But look, it just doesn't reach. It's going like halfway at most. And I can't do anything to stop that. I can't jump. I can't sprint. It's not going to reach. You can't hold down the throw button. You can only press it. So you can't control how far you throw it. So yes, I'm thinking it might be one of those weird engines where the FPS affects how far, you know, affects the physics engine. So I'm going to stop recording and see if I can get it that way. So I'll be right back. Okay, no, um, stopping recording, which did improve my FPS by a ton, did not actually change the physics. However, I found a solution. Okay, so this orange soda. Soda can. And this one. Soda can. Even though they appear the same, this one was found in a normal spot in the house and is presumably filled. Hence why it doesn't go all that far, because it's quite heavy. However, this one came from this bin here, recycling bin. These are empty. So even though these cans don't look any different from filled ones, I believe they've had a different attribute applied to them that uh, makes them weigh less. Because it's supposed to be an empty can, even though it doesn't look like an empty can. It's supposed to be, because it came from the recycling bin. So, because of that, this one can be thrown further. Observe. See? Very far, because that's the empty one. This is the full one. Not very far. Yep. Alright. Come here, you beautiful orange can, you. Okay. Come here. Boom. Hello, ball. Oh, you got... Everyone is in for a treat. Oh, yeah. You're gonna love this. I wonder, does this make a realistic bouncing ball noise? Oh man, I'm so disappointed. Oh well, whatever. That doesn't matter, trust me. With what you're about to see, you're gonna love it. All right, so we're going up to Sam's room and what we're going to do is dunk this and we're going to hear Mitten's long lost journal. You know what, it feels wrong to leave this door open, hold on. Okay, I feel better now. I'm saying that even despite the fact that I've ransacked the entire house, throwing everything. <laughs> everything around, looking for a light object. But it's okay, I closed the front door. You know, I never noticed the detail there before. Look at that. That's, whoops. That is a bit appealing wallpaper. I'd never noticed it. Very nice. I still think the lighting in this game is freaking amazing. Ah. <sighs> okay, back to Sam's room. <laughs> okay. Are you guys ready? Let's close the doors. Make it nice. Let's make it nice and comfortable here. Hold on. Let's give um let's give Steggy a front row 
seat to this. Here you go, Stiggy. Where's your face? There's your face. Let's try that again. Can I get him to stand up? Ooh, ooh, perfect. Look at that. Stiggy has a front row seat to the show. Unfortunately, it's a bit short, but he can look up. Okay. Here we go. Mittens, long lost journal. <laughs> Dunk. <laughs> and that laughing, by the way, that you just heard was not me. That that is actually in the recording. That were that was the people presumably breaking up and laughing in the studio while they were recording that because they couldn't help themselves. That is just amazing. I believe one of the developers said that what they did is they asked the person who voice acted Sam to read the first journal that you get, except as a cat. I think that's what they said. And uh, let's check that out. Let's hear if the voice kind of... Like the intonation matches the first one at the new house. Let's see. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. Okay, can I stop it? We moved into this house. Dear Katie. I don't think I can, but hold on. So much has changed. I'm pretty sure it, it is the first journal, so just listen away. to how she says it, and then let's do the ball. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm Wait, in a new it, school. It's not happening again. And my big sister being ah. gone for a year doesn't can you make trigger it once? easier. Doesn't feel real. What the heck? But I'm not gonna let it. Okay, well apparently you cannot trigger it again. I guess you'd have to reload to do that. So I can't compare it to how she sounds on the first journal, but I'm pretty sure that is what it is. It's her saying the first journal that you get, the one uh, at the new house, but as a cat. So anyway, yeah, that is like the best Easter egg ever in a game. And actually, I think the developer also said that um, what inspired them to make this Easter egg. Uh, at least what inspired them to make this how you activate the easter egg, this thing with the ball and dunking it is because it's been actually that's been an easter egg sort of a method for triggering easter eggs in quite a few games um, there were some of them they mentioned that I hadn't played but one of them which I definitely remember is System Shock 2 because if you did not know there is an easter egg in System Shock 2 where at the very first level in the game you can find a basketball and if you take it with you if you put it into your inventory on the very first level, because you, you can't go back to the starting area, so you have to grab it right away. If you grab that ball right away and keep it in your inventory, you get to keep it with you. And if you take it with you for the rest of the game, until you get to the, I think it's the ball court, and you dunk that ball inside, just like you dunk it here, if you dunk it, it, uh, it triggers an easter egg. So that was, yeah, that was one of the inspirations for the method of triggering this easter egg is that it's apparently a pretty popular thing to do in games. Kind of like a, a reference or a, you know, a homage to those games. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> there is the two journals that I missed. The Christmas duck little mini easter egg and the mittens journal easter egg. What did you think of it, Steggy? I think Stiggy enjoyed it. It's okay, Stiggy. You can go back to sleep. Here you go. Good night. Oh no, don't don't fall off. Don't fall off. There you go. If only I could tuck you in. I can actually hold on. Here you go, buddy. There you go. Nice and warm. Good night, Stiggy. All right. Hope everyone enjoyed this follow-up to Gone Home.